I'm Harry. And I'm Richard. Welcome to Dead Decks. Dead Decks. Yeah, buddy. Mm, oh, two, sexy. Two fat guys that come into play and do nothing. <laughs> As per usual. Yeah. I mean, yeah, buddy. The more things change, mm, more we drink. More we drink. All right. What are we talking about today? Mm. Hockey. Again? I swallow my bourbon. Again. Jesus. Fucking Christ. Uh, specifically, we're talking about the expansion to hockey, which is called Expansion. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't say we're the best at naming uh, conventions. Borean Gates Naming Convention. <laughs> uh, so one of the things, this is not directly related to the expansion, but it is a carded product they made after the expansion did exist, which is why I thought it was cool and bought it. It mentions on the back that there is an expansion, and it says it can only be found in boosters. So presumably no starters for the expansion. But this shit is uh, pretty difficult to find. So any reference to it, uh, we need to have that. If anybody out there, all you point three and a half people that are watching, uh, we would like to get our hands on some of the expansion stuff, whether it be loose product or sealed. Uh, so if you have some, let us know. We'd be interested. Yeah, and since we'll take bulk and loose and whatever, just so you know, it's orange border. Yeah. Easiest way to tell the difference. Huh? Like this guy. Orange, red, depending on what your 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 eyes can see. Right. Yeah. The normal the the main base set is a green border, so easily distinguishable. So if you have some orange border cards, red border cards laying around, let us know. We've both been actually surprised by the fact that we enjoy this game this much. Yes. Yeah. Not real big hockey fans. No. Can't even pronounce most of these dudes' names. We have fun trying. But I do like, we like clean mechanics, uh, and we're both digging this this one, so. Yeah. This is a game I could see us actually playing into the future and making the actual decks and even out, even off camera, doing something with it. There's a lot of games you'll see us stick around with on camera that we'll never touch again, outside of just as a collectability factor or a cool factor. We'll never really play it. Mm. Um, but this is one of those games I do believe I would like to play. Yeah. Yeah, this one's fun. I even like the collectability, all the dice yeah. and all that shit. And the, yeah, the ultra rare part of it is kind of annoying, especially on the base set. They're really, really hard to get. So if you again, if, even if you have some of the base set, you have a lot, a lot of bulk, and you just want to get rid of it, including several ultra rares. Again, who would be interested in that? Yeah. Let so us know. There are emails in the comments or the detail section below, uh, or you can just I'll just tell you deaddex at deaddex.com. Pretty fucking easy to figure out. There you Somebody go. will get back to you about, about all that shit. Anyway. They do have a couple more products. Uh, they have another carded product that has a pack and a starter. Um, and uh, it's like a white background. And then they have uh, some little cardboard discs that were like a promotional item that came out. Uh, those are out there too. So it has a couple of things. That's about it. This The carded products were apparently like their last ditch effort at getting these out there. Yeah. Didn't work. No, I'm assuming this is more for the retail market versus, I would guess that the original part would be for the hobby market back when, because this time, this this era, card shops were very prevalent. They were everywhere. I lived in a town with 2,000 people in it when I grew up, and then we had a car store, if that tells you anything. Uh, there were car stores, there were, and the next the next big town over, which at the time probably had 15,000 people, I think there were three or four card stores. Yeah. Uh, the saturation was incredible back then. Now you'll be lucky to find a car store at a town of 50,000 people. You know? Yeah, can't find one around here. No. Uh, this looks to me like a last ditch effort to get rid of stuff that was aimed for and it, 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 and it screams retail. It was sitting yeah. on Walmart shelf somewhere, Target, Kmart, something like that. So yeah. Was... And when it's the base set referencing the expansion, it tells you that this is way after the fact. They had yeah. a product sitting around. There's, they had creative ways to get rid of it. They opened some packs, put some cards in the front, like, here, buy this shit. Yeah, and this card is bullshit. Uh, stupid in every way, so I don't know why he's there. Uh, and, and Joe Sack, I mean, Joe Sackett was a, you know, he was a recognizable name back in the day. But card buys, he's, meh. If you're going to put a common in there, throw a Gretzky up front. What the hell yeah. are you doing? Well, I mean, it's probably, I mean, if you're just opening random packs to throw someone in the front, I guess you kind of got to <laughs> pick and choose, you know. Yeah. Or you can just print off Gretzky's. <laughs> yeah, just make Gretzky's for these things, shit. Yeah, just print them off. Who the hell cares? Print runs, print, print runs. <laughs> He's already like the only, well, one of the couple playable centers. And the only player that everybody in the world knows who it is. 
Well, except for the Congolese. Yeah. They don't know who's going to be this. <laughs> anyway. Well, on to this thing. So, we found this. It's the only sealed product we've actually seen anywhere for the uh, expansion. Uh, this pack is a combo pack. It had two packs inside of it. So yet again, something made after the fact. With the, looks similar to the carded product here. They were just trying to get rid of shit they had. Uh, so they put a Premier pack in with the expansion pack. So there you see the difference. It doesn't say Premier. This is expansion. Yeah. Um, that's it. It doesn't have a name. Then uh, the number's sequential, so they just kept numbering up from the base set anyway. They do mention that this set has much more powerful or has more powerful cards in it versus the base set. Yeah. And they changed the ultra rare rarities uh, insertion. They cut it in half, basically. Might have even to a third. More than that? Yeah, we can check real quick. Maybe. That's 72 to 24, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, they, that's significant. Yeah, so yeah, these the insertion rate in ultra rares on these, they're only six card in the expansion packs, but uh, one in 20. One four. In 24. So yeah. one and a half per box, theoretically, assuming that they had 36 packs per box. But what counters that is we can't find it. So yeah. haven't even seen a picture. <laughs> Cannot find an image of a sealed box. Somebody's had sealed boxes. There's enough product out there. Yeah. Uh, presumably someone had it. Do we mention that we wanted some of this? Yeah, we yeah. still want this shit. Yeah. Loose or sealed. We want some. I want to open some. Yeah, I want to keep it and play with it. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to crack this. Yep, we're going to see if we can get that 1 in 24. You're going to let me do the honors of oh, cracking yeah. the expansion? You can crack the uh, regular pack. Yeah. All right, Richard. All right, let's, let's see what's in this thing. So, they're supposed to be more powerful, so. Well, we'll slow roll that pack, too. So uh, we can actually see. Well, yeah, I want to see these. Yeah, yeah. There's not enough out there that I've even got to read that many. If I we'll still keep this around ten minutes, so that'll be one of our shorter videos. <laughs> yeah, we won't be so full of shit. <laughs> Ron Smolinski from Pittsburgh. That doesn't uh, sound right. Doesn't. <laughs> so, skate both defensemen. 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 Yeah. That's not bad. No, that's all right. It's uncommon up front too. Stuck together. Yeah. We jumped right into it. I don't like how that sounded. Mm. I got some uh, peel away. We got paper loss on the back. It might focus eventually. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's not unfortunate. Great. Not great. Peter Kalima. Keep that in mind when we talk about still product. Skate one player successfully without rolling die. So that's an attribute or a uh, ability they introduced in the expansion. Another thing that's more powerful. Mm -hmm. Things that you can, there's even some where you can score. You never hmm. roll. Uh, that's obviously pretty damn powerful. So our rares up front. Yeah, our rares behind the uncommons and then followed by common. So that's weird. Kevin Hatcher, Pittsburgh. Offsides, both players discard their hands. Resume play with a face off. Whoa. Hmm. It doesn't say redraw. That's some crazy shit. So you just automatically offsides and everybody re recharges. Every, well, I, I guess assume you redraw. It just says discard and then face off. Both players discard their hands, so like you're cardless. <laughs> That's uh, there needs to be some errata text on this. Yeah, we'd have to figure that out. But it, yeah, it, it implies that you have no cards left and start all over again. <clears throat> and after you read through some of the. The regular premier cards, you can tell they are definitely trying to do cooler things mechanically. Yeah, because his stats are really. I mean, he's a. I mean, for a defensive man, he's not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's one of the better defensive men. De defense men, one of those. <laughs> but yeah, they were doing cooler stuff with the ability text. Steve Dushani <laughs> 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 Uh Teamwork add plus two to any Ottawa action. That's that's a regular mechanic from. Mm -hmm. But still a two three defenseman. Jeff Friesen? Uh, skate winger, take a shot. That's not an exotic either. No. And I don't know how to say his name. There's still a Shane little Shane Churla? 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 Oh, what is Churla? this? Coincidental minors. Play when you take a penalty. Opponent's player is also penalized. That's cool. Hmm. I like that. That's a pretty cool card. So yeah, a lot of new abilities in the yeah. expansion. Uh, and they even made uh, cards that work as an attachment too, which we didn't get any. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's very cool. I'm yeah. excited to find anything in that to open. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so we're going to do the regular Premier Edition pack, which is just basic stuff. If you've watched our videos, all you hockey fans out there, you've seen all this before. So we're, we're not going to ultra rare. 
I'm gonna crack the car so they don't stick together. And they're still sticking together. Ooh, these are. It must have been the way that they were packaged because they were they were very sticky. All right. Oh man. Good lord. Yeah, I don't know if it'd be temperature. There's, there's a lot of paper loss on these. I, mean, I don't know if y'all can tell or not, but there's significant paper loss on all of these. Yeah. Joe Sackick and our rare is Bob Corkum. Old Bob Corkum. Corkum. A little paper loss at the top. Okay. And a bend in the top. Yeah. So I don't I don't know if it's the way these are packaged by they stick together because the the boxes we've opened have all been pretty smooth. And I'm keeping that. Yeah. Expansion pack since it's the only one we found anywhere. Alright, well. Alright. How we do on that one? I'd say good enough. <laughs> yeah, buddy.